I've never heard about that. Do they? Turn the camera off, I'll no, tell a story. I really don't know where it is. Like it's 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 hard to say. Like, dude, I remember this one time. I fully lined it up for them. I'm like, guys, all these girls are waiting for you guys to go say what's up. And they're like, oh no. Uh, you know, and I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? Like, you got 10 girls there, like, they're all hot. They won't even fucking go say hi. And I'm like, you guys faggots or what? Like, what are you doing? Yeah, I met Lizard for like one of the first time at uh, Call McKay's house. He was like, hey, what's up with the Mega Rap and da 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 da. And I was like, dude, just hit me up tomorrow, you know, let's do this shit. Called me the next morning. He's like, dude, I've been up all night fucking partying and shit, barely slept, you know. So he came to my house, you know, I set him up with pads and a board, and we all drove out to the Mega Ramp. He didn't really mess around. Like, he walked up there, he threw up, you know, before trying it, and then you're just like, fuck it, passion. Just dropped in and like went for it. So he tried it probably like 10 times and then he pulled one down. Then he tried it a couple more times and then he freaking rolled away. I think we went out drinking that night. You know, Lizard was super hyped. Lizard was like, yo, dude, like I'll get fucking PLG tattooed on my wrist right next to NWA. I didn't think none of it. I was like, it's probably the alcohol talking for him, you know. A few days went by. I was flying to China, so I woke up at like 4 a.m. And as I'm waking up, I got this crazy text from Lizard that says, I told you, son. And there's like a photo of like this homemade, like super ghetto tattoo that says like PLG right there on his wrist. I thought he was just talking shit. You know, I didn't think he was going to actually do it. A few months later, Brasher did like a half page thing about it. And you know, he's telling the story that I took him to the Mega Ramp. And then he ends the story by saying, like, it'd be cool if PL would get a, a lizard tattoo. That'd be some ma some serious passion. I saw the mag. And he's calling me out. I was like, fuck it. You know, I got to get a lizard tattoo. We looked online and we found, like, lizard's first board graphic. And, you know, just went and got a lizard tattoo. Jake, myself, Danny Mayer, we went to uh, Dubai in 2007. Jake went and bought this crazy diamond ring, you know, for, like, you know, four grand or something. And it was probably like this big, you know, it was taking out his whole finger. Maybe six months later, we were um, helping out the Maloof designing their ramp. So we'd go to Vegas and then, you know, hang out with them. Jake was up at Rain in the VIP section and the DJ was spinning. And then Jake's just like, he's got his ring on his finger and he's just like all hyped up. He's like, yeah. And next thing you know, he's like, yeah. Boom, the ring just flies off his finger off the balcony, lands on the dance floor, and Jake's just like, fuck it, I guess it's gone. Just didn't give a fuck. What kind of fucking question is that? I'm trying to think, my girlfriend? <laughs> I guess one night, like, Matias had just bought this brand new Audi uh, S4, and we all went out drinking, and Matias was, like, the designated driver that one night. I was getting pretty wasted, and we were leaving the bar, he was waiting outside, so I sat in his car with a cigarette, and he's like, please don't smoke in my car. And I was kind of drunk, so I didn't really care, you know, I just took a drag and blew it right in his face. And he just, like, boom, punched me right in the face. He's like, get out of my car right now. I was parked like three miles down the road. So I had to walk like all the way to my car there. So I'm all drunk, like get out of my car. I'm like, damn it, I'm gonna have to drive drunk, you know. I was like, I gotta get back at this guy. And you know, you're not always making the smartest decisions when you're drinking. So I actually stopped by his house on my way home. And I had like this little pocket knife. So I just parked, got out of my car and went and slashed like both, like two tires. You know, I was like, I can't just do one because he'll be able to use the spare tomorrow. So I had to do the whole, like, you know, whole right side of the car. So he called me the next morning and I answered. I was like, fuck you, just hung up on him. He called me kind of like to apologize for making me walk and I was still pissed. So I just told him to fuck off and hung up on him. And then he called me back again half an hour later because he was stripping because he had two flat tires. <laughs> So we went to this Osiris footage party and started drinking sake bombs all night. We were talking about 720s on Vert, and I was like, I can fucking do a 720 first try tomorrow. He's like, let's put some money on that. I'm like, you know what? You know those tires? I still owe you 450 bucks for that. 
If I make it first try, we're even. I'm not paying for them. If I don't, I'm paying double. So the next day, you know, I roll up at the ramp like, you know, 1 p.m. I got the worst hangover in history. Worst headache. I'm super dizzy. I'm like, come on, Matias. Like, let's push a bet back to tomorrow. He's like, hell no. Bet's a bet. You got to do it today. I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let's do it. And so I just dropped in. Air to fakey. Boom! 720 first try. Super sketchy made it. Mitius was fucking freaking out. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, I slashed both his tires and uh, ended up not paying for him. <laughs> <laughs>